welcome to Dinah's Egyptian Cooking. I'm Dinah and um, today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, red tea which is um, drunk quite a lot in Egypt. Um, it is similar to the normal black tea but it's made with different um, leaves. Actually they're the petals that come from the hibiscus flower. They look like that so that's the the outer part of the flower, the um, the callus and um, they're dried out and used to make the tea much much in the same way as, as black teas. Um, so I've just got some here and I'm only going to make enough for for one cup and I'll show you how to do that. You can have it hot or cold um, and if you're going to have it cold for summertime then you could put some of these in um, a jug with boiling water and just leave it to sit and, and add as much sugar as you like so maybe a teaspoon per person and then um, you just leave that overnight in the fridge and strain off the leaves and then you can have that as a cool drink. Uh, and alternatively, if you want a hot tea, you can just um, boil it up like I'm going to show you now and add the sugar to taste, of course, and then um, serve it up hot. As you can see, there's some whole ones and some broken ones here. Um, this is actually uh, the dark variety. You can see it's, it's very sort of purpley black almost. Um, and this has more flavour than the light, um, the light version. The light one is actually a bit more acidic as well. So if you can, try and, and get the um, the dark one. So once you've got your water in and your sugar and the petals, just give that a, a stir and leave that to uh, come to the boil and um, leave it boiling for three minutes and then take that off the heat. That should be enough. So I've just had the tea boiling um, and now I'm just going to put it through a strainer into a glass. You can see the beautiful, rich colour, deep red. So this is it, Kaka Day, and um, enjoy it hot or cold. Mmm, memories of home. <laughs> see you next time.